butterflies happy new year's this video is going to be an unboxing video okay so y'all this is the first video for me of the new year i was waiting for this um fake crate box to come in because i wanted it to be an unboxing video it was supposed i was expecting it to come in last month but it didn't so i mean i wasn't rushing obviously but um this is the last fake crate that I'm going to get for a while. Nothing wrong with the box. I'm just trying to save some money. Uh, fake crate is $39.95 a month. You get a hardcover book with like four to six bookish items, which includes a t-shirt. And I know one of the boxes I had like a pillowcase in, I think. It was either a pillowcase or a, um, a tote bag. But you get a, a t-shirt is definitely one of it. And you get like three or five other bookish items along with the book so um this is technically my first like book subscription unboxing i've been getting fake crate i think this is like my fifth fake crate box i just never unboxed it on camera i usually i just can't i got get them did them on and came back and just showed who was in the box so and i'll put the link in my description below in case you guys want to try it out because i think you get a lot for the money it's not like some boxes where it's only a small like amount of stuff for 40 bucks you get a pretty good amount for 40 bucks and that's not including a hardcover book so when you get it they have everything wrapped up as always so the first thing that's on top is a t-shirt and before i even open it it looked like a superwoman t-shirt oh wait maybe not maybe not my bad i spoke too fast okay this is the t-shirt And to me, these shirts do run a little big, so I would, if you're going to get the box, I would get a size down. Because originally, I was getting like a medium, because I know a lot of times, like printed shirts, they run kind of small on me. They fit tight, so I was getting the medium, but the medium was like big, so I ended up going down to the small size, <laughs> so I can actually wear them. It says, make yourself a myth and live within it so that you belong to no one but yourself. That's pretty, that's a pretty good positive, um quote and i think they started putting their cards on the bottom they used to put the cards on top and i think they started putting it on the bottom which i mean i guess it's not a big deal because nobody really wants to read the card beforehand anyway but i think this is november's box i forgot to say this um i i'm pretty sure i ordered it in november and it didn't come in until yesterday so this next thing is a beanie let me open it so it seemed like since the last time I got it, they put more like clothing items in and it might have been just for this box, which is fine. It says the Vortex still spins, so I'm not sure what book this is from. But it's a seems like a nice little warm beanie. I don't think they're going to fit over my, over my locks yet right now. Oh well, it does. Okay. I don't know what it looks like though. So, it's a pretty nice beanie. Okay, so the next thing is that I saw that I saw when I started digging is a candle. It says um, Teresia. I don't know how you say the name, but behold what is coming. It's supposed to be mango and tangerine. Got glasses on, it still got a squint. Okay. It smells good. It smells like a, I have another candle on my shelf that kind of smells like this, but it's a lot bigger. It's almost like a, I don't really smell any tangerine. It's mostly mango. It's almost, uh, it's almost like a, a pina colada scent is, is what it smells like. Like a warm, it's like a, a warm mango -y smell, but I would compare it to pina colada. Then they, oh, I don't remember getting, did I get pins in the other boxes? I'm not sure, but this one, they have an enamel pin. Oh, no, 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 it's not even a pen. It's a phone grip. Oh, it's a pop socket. Okay, but it's like an enamel one. I didn't even know they made them hard like this. And it's a fake crate one. It says Dreams of Stranger Worlds. It's a fake crate exclusive is what I meant to say. Obviously, it's fake crate if it's in the box. But it's a fake crate exclusive. And let me get it out the package. It's it's a pop socket. So right now the one that I have on my phone is Rugrats. 
okay it's kind of nice <laughs> like it seems like it's like really bulky though so i don't know if i would if i'm going to really use this one or not but i mean it's cute so i'll have to see i'll have to see i'm just not ready to take my breath off honestly so <laughs> that's really what it is i really don't know what book it's gonna be in here and honestly I haven't really been watching booktube um, recently either so I don't really know exactly mm, what books are necessarily popping right now on booktube so I'm not sure what could be in this box um, then they have a fake crate exclusive iron on patch I think I had a patch in one or two of the other boxes that I had I'm not sure I can't remember if it was in all of the boxes that I had but at least two of them that I previously had it was in and it's um night has chosen thee is what it says on it and the thing is like i have the jean jacket and i started thinking about getting like iron iron patches to put on it but i'm not sure yet about this one just because i haven't read the book so i'm not gonna just put the patch on it if it's one thing if i read the book and then i like it and then i'm like okay i'll add this to the jacket and i'm trying to think about if i want to make it like bookish like a bookish themed jean jacket and get different patches that refers to different books that i like and like just ironing on the jacket i don't know i don't know i'm thinking about it i'm thinking about it i think this would be a good idea so this one is going to be a hold off on when i read it and see if i actually like the book whatever the book is so it seems like we're getting down to the bottom of it because it looks like this is the card oh no it's not no it's not oh it's like a little book um for a reading log you could put the date um the name of the book three good things about today which is not just like a reading log it's like a because you put it like you, it's like a daily thing you could do you could put a to-do list you put three good things that you experienced about the day you can put on there like your reading log what you was reading today to Arthur how many pages you read and what you were rated I guess if you finish a book you can kind of do it like that okay that's kind of cute and it's like a whole it's like a whole pad of them so i guess that's cute that's cute okay this is the signed um the signed card the book plate for um that comes in every book they also have with every box for the book they have the author have a book plate they sign in so technically i got a bunch of signed books and then they always put like uh the little the little snapshot photos the polaroid pictures that's what it was i had a brain for it but they put a polaroid picture in each box and i started like hanging them on my bookshelf like i bought some twine and i've been clipping them on the twine so this one is it says a wild untamed sort of music so i'm gonna add that to the collection and i had that hanging on my other bookshelf which is adjacent to me that y'all never see but i have it hanging on that one now this is the card and on the other side is telling you exactly everything that it was okay but this is telling you everything that's in the box and all of that good stuff <clears throat> so oh i did hear about this book though i did hear about this book what's the wow oh my god that's cute that's cute as fuck i gotta open this i gotta Oh my goodness. I gotta open this. It's wrapped it's wrapped up in plastic. Oh my god, this is this is oh my lord. oh my lord. Like when y'all see this, you gonna I don't think I know nobody else. Like I don't think I know a lot of people personally that get excited over it. It's fucking cute. And you know this shit is genuine. So this is the book. The book is a deal with the elf king so i did hear about this book on book two a, a couple of times even though i haven't been like adamantly looking at it like i usually do but this one i did hear of and i, I just put this on my wish list on amazon for me to get so this was like meant to be so what i was freaking out about is not what the book is but i turned it on i turned it around to look at the back and caught a glimpse of the the edges it's like metallic sprayed edges like i don't now I have sprayed book edges and I love them. Like I think they're beautiful. Like Six of Crows, the edges is black of the page. Um, I have another book that's up here. I think the second book is red. I have another one that's sprayed, and I think I want to start spraying. Try to spray like the edges of my books myself. Yo, like I've never had metallic sprayed book edges, and this is a fake crate limited edition too. Like. Uh, 
like even without the book jacket look how fucking cute i don't own a book like this do y'all know how much books like this cost enough for me to not fucking buy them like this like this is gorgeous oh my god fake credit outdid themselves like they i any the other four boxes that i've had the books were like just normal hardback like they weren't anything like amazing i don't know if this is going to be a new thing for fake crate but oh oh my god like these edges are so fucking beautiful and then it, look at the artwork in the beginning it's like the a picture of like they outdid themselves they fucking did it oh my god this is gorgeous this is really gorgeous like even just the way the chapters are like bordered <sighs> like this it's books like these that really really make you appreciate books like even people that are not readers like if you should i feel like personally like they're not like avid readers i expect like young readers that are still like not really sure if that's what they want to do as like a hobby when they see books like this, because a lot of people get caught on books from first impressions, you see the cover and it's like, this is a beautiful ass book. I don't care what it's about, but I want to read it because it's, it's gorgeous. It's books like this that'll, that'll drag you into it. And from what I hear about this book, it's pretty good. I hear it's pretty fucking heavy though. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I hear it's some heavy shit. If I'm, I'm gonna just try to recall what I've heard about it. Um, I think that this one whatever her name is her i could very much just read the synopsis and come back and act like i know what the fuck it is but from what i heard her she um agreed i think the elf king comes like every year or every how many years and like takes takes one of the uh takes one of the girls to be their brides and i know if she's a fairy or not is she well i don't know i don't know if she's a human or, or what but she he comes every certain they made a deal with him that if he wouldn't kill a people or something like that that he can have one of the human girls every certain many years or whatever but no one ever hears from the girls again so they think he's like killing them or torturing them or whatever so i think sh they took her sister one year so she made a plan to get back at him and she offered herself up to him when he came for his next pick of the litter and her plan is to try to kill him because she because they think he's killing a girl so she feel like her sister is dead that he's killed her so her plan is to go and act like you know she wants to be in love with him and wants to be there but kill him instead um but i think she ends up starting i think she ends up finding out the truth of what's really going on i think she ends up falling for him i don't fucking know but that's like what i heard about the book so i'm, I'm almost pretty sure that that's that's like the best synopsis that I can give you. Even if I sit here and read it and try to come at to you. That's like the best that I can do. Oh, you know what? Scratch that. I just read the synopsis and I think I mixed this up with another book. Half of what I said was true. He does come every couple of years and he gets to take a girl to be his queen. And it is seen as like a mark of death, a mark of death by like the silence people that, oh, every time he comes to get these girls, we never see him again, they die. Okay. That part was true. I don't think the part about her sister was true though because <laughs> I think that was another book and I'm pretty sure I mixed two books up together but she was uh training to be like a herbologist stuff so she thought she escaped it as a child like it wasn't gonna happen but now he came back and he picked her so now she is the new queen of like these elves and stuff but and, and, but I was right about it. it's gonna be a lot of lies and shit that are uncovered so I was almost, I was, I say I was like 85% of the way true about what I said about this book. But anyway, I just think this is so fucking cute. Like, they really, you can't tell me they didn't outdo themselves. Like, they outdid themselves. They really did. You can't tell me they didn't. Like, like the way I'm looking at this book, like, you think, okay, I, I gotta stop looking at this. It's like, I almost feel like even though like the artwork is so beautiful on this i almost feels like they did the book of dishonor by even putting the dust jacket on it they could have had it just like this and it would have been perfect like i, I gotta okay <laughs> i gotta stop staring at this like this okay fake crazy you outdid yourself <laughs> you outdid yourself this time um i've never been disappointed by fake crate i think they give you a lot for your money 
and obviously really good quality too so i've never had a problem with fake crate i'm just trying to save um a little money here and there as i can I'm trying to get my credit right yo <laughs> i'm like that's something you don't think about and like now i'm thinking about it so i'm trying to get my credit right i'm trying to save a little extra money here or there and put it towards something else that can you know help me financially so um, i'm gonna be holding off on fake crate for a little while um, I'm not sure how long shit it might be just a month where I just feel like I have enough extra money to where I can just like trick myself and then I because you can skip the month but it's $39.95 a month and look at all of the stuff you get you get a really good selection of stuff and stuff that you can use too how many boxes are there out there that have the stuff that's in a box you don't even use they might throw it away or it just sits there I like honestly I think fake crates give you a lot of things that are useful like that you're actually gonna put to use versus letting it sit somewhere or throw it away so yeah that is it I don't know how long like I thought this video was gonna be but it's definitely not <laughs> what I thought it was gonna be so I have not been doing any fucking thing I think my last video was in November and I was supposed to be coming back full time but then I didn't really know what to film to be honest because <laughs> I, I haven't really been reading as much as I used to to come and do like a whole bunch of reviews and stuff so I was like well I'll start back up when I get this fake crate box and I'll do an unboxing because I've never like did a live unboxing for fake crate so I was like I'll do that that'll be my coming back video and then I can just kick jumpstart into other things so yeah here I am um non book related though like I don't know what the hell this is <laughs> But like I got like this dry spot like in the middle like just right here in the middle of my nose and it's like it's like dark. I don't know what it is. I thought it was maybe from my glasses but it's not. It's like here and I don't know how to get it off and I don't be want to be walking around like the Makabuda in the middle of my face. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's, it's the Makabuda. It's the skin Makabuda. So it's like I've been like washing it like with my face wash and everything else and it's just still here and it's not like peeling or anything but like you can feel the difference in the texture when you run your finger over it. it's a lot rougher than the rest of my face and I don't know what the hell it is I don't know where it came from but I'm concerned because I don't want to be walking around with a skid marker Buddha in the middle of my face I don't know like have y'all ever had that like what do you do like what do you what do you put on there yeah like i got other than that i got my mind together like i know exactly plan wise what i'm going to do video wise because before i had no idea what the fuck i was going to post but now i kind of have a little plan made out so yeah I'm, I'm ready for that i got the next couple of videos down um i'm gonna edit this one tonight you hear me and i'm gonna post it like, I'm going to upload it to YouTube, but I'm not going to let it, like, release till later tomorrow. Just so that way, that's a process I don't have to wait for. Because for some reason, I don't know if it's just me. Uh, it might just be my computer because it's old. It takes forever to load it to YouTube. Like, it takes forever. It takes forever to save it, and it takes forever to load it. So, I'll do that tonight and get that out the way. So, that way, tomorrow, it'll just, like, automatically upload by itself. I'm, like, using the tools that I'm giving and taking advantage of them. Um, so I can't use that as an excuse, but yeah, like I've been loving my locks. Like I tried locks out. I've had them in for almost a month and next week I think I'm going to take them out because I think they're in their cars, but I love, I love them. Like I don't know why none of you bitches with locks never said anything. Like this is great. I'm going to get my real hair locked up, but I wanted to have my red phase. Like I never ran through my red phase. So this is my red phase and then I saw some more that are like a dark, they go from black to like this dark teal on the end. I want to get those, but I need to make sure, I need to approve that with my supervisor and make sure that color is okay for work. Um, it's like a dark teal, like it's not loud or anything, but if they okay it, that's the next color y'all see me in. But I for sure want to do a video so y'all can see me with my locks in, because the last time when I had my braids and it was like black, blue, and purple, I didn't do a video the whole time I had them in, so it's like, y'all didn't even get to like appreciate how good the color looked on the sister, so yeah that's all i have for this video today like honestly i just wanted to come and do my unboxing um tomorrow i have another video that i'm gonna do that i'm excited about because i've never did one like this before so this is like something new and i'm super excited so yeah that is all i have for you guys today thank you for watching my video uh, stitch is my spirit animal and i will see you later bye